Hi guys, welcome to your May 2021. This is going to be the What Are They Telling You Timeless Reading Week 2 for the beautiful sign of Pisces. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Wow, Pisces. Wow, wow, wow. If you're, wow, wow, wow. Sorry, I had to bust that little note. If you're new here with me, hello, hello. If you are returning, welcome back. And if you're subscribed to the tribe and what's good, fam bams, hello to my members. Pisces, listen. I was sitting here with your energy. I'm like, oh, there's a lot of emphasis here. A lot of emphasis on um, marriage. Like, I don't know what exactly you guys are going through right now, but I can tell you if you are up for, let's just get the um, elephant out the room, out the elephant in the room out the way. Um, because whenever I see this in the heart place, I know there's some money somewhere. So um, if that coin is about, Property, sorry guys, property, a job, anything that highlights your abundance, congratulations. Of course, it is a lot of relationship things here, but there is a strong emphasis of beginnings. You got three aces, three aces. Um, and so that is what your energy and it is go time, like it's go mode. Your, your, your person is definitely like... You're going to be married. Whatever this is, you're going into the new, new. Like, this is new for you, okay? So, um, if you're new here with me, let's let's get it on. If you're new here with me, hello, hello. If you are returning, welcome back. If you're subscribed to the tribe and what's good, fam, bam, hello to my members. Let's get started. The very first card, Eclipse and Capricorn. Check it, check it, check it out. You already know that the eclipses are uh, symbolic for growth, a time of rapid change. There is your, your life and the surroundings are changing rapidly. Sorry for my jacked up band-aid. I should have changed it. I uh, change it every day. I forgot to do that for the camera. Sorry. Okay. Eclipse and Capricorn. Obviously, we do have a new direction. It is um, a choice. It's the t it's time. You know, sevens are about choices. This is reevaluating success. Um, if you're reevaluating success right now, you right now, Pisces, and this has to do with um, it has a lot to do with, um, you know, your career, you and your cross watcher, your career, or you're going through something. This is a fantastic time for you because Jupiter just moved into your sign. A short stint, but still it's here. It's going to be your Jupiter return next year, lovelies. So you're going to get a little bit, I believe it's about three months I guess I can check the, the actual time. Um, I am going to have some um, commentary on this, either on my blog, on my website. I haven't decided um, as I'm begin becoming reacclimated with things. Um, Jupiter, yes. Um, and so just look out for it wherever it is. I will definitely let you know. But it is going to be your Jupiter return next year. I just want to take a little bit of your time to let you know. So things are looking good. I'm happy that you got this huge ass Ace of Pentacles right in the heart place. Um, I know you're embarking on things and who better to have it? Who better to go inside of their brand new beginnings with the person that loves them? All right. So May 13th, Jupiter enters Pisces. It wasn't about that. Um, and it is the sign of its domicile. So it obviously is, um, yeah, very uh, comfortable there. Jupiter is in Pisces for a brief stay. So it's going to be there from May 13th to July 28th, two and a half months. Okay, the first taste of it. And when I say that is because right now Jupiter is chilling, was chilling in Aquarius all of this time. And it's going to re-enter. Listen, listen to the timeline. It's going to re-enter Pisces. After it comes out July 28th, Pisces in your collective, Pisces collective in your in your cross watchers. And it's going to stay there. OK, I will get into this in a minute. I just want you to understand the significance of what's about to happen for you guys. OK, it will re-enter once it goes out on July 28th. We will have August, September, October, November, December. It's going to go in there on December the 29th and it's going to stay in Pisces until May 2022 now and it will be back in Pisces from October the 28th 2022 to December the 20th 20th of 2022 okay so I want you to definitely understand what is happening to you lovelies let's go ahead and get into it 
Don't squander this particular time. Now, that's your success. And then you also have sun and Aries. We have new beginnings. Ow. And sun and Aries, this is about one. You have reached the climax and the pinnacle of what is going to be done, what is going to be done, of what has been done. That will explain the reason why you have three aces in your energy. They just came popping out. I'm like, okay, that's fine. First card between you and your person is the eight of coins. It is time. Your person is saying they've reevaluated things. They want to make the choice to go into a new direction. They want oh, a new beginning. They want to go into a leap of faith. Eclipse energy is here. Embrace these opportunities coming your way. A time of rapid change, Pisces, both internally and externally, because they are what? Working very hard, working very hard in the past, focusing very hard, laser focused on bringing abundance being consistent, showing you that they love you or possibly just working and they want a brand new beginning in love. The cup overflows in love with you. Can't even make it up. You can see. And there's been some there's been some snafus. Absolutely. But we ain't there yet. And then in the heart place, we do have a beautiful, abundant beginning. Listen, they can have it all with you. They feel like they can. You have three aces. They an over, uh, overflow. This is a big purse, too. I love that. It's like a coin purse. Look at that. That is super cute. Look at that. Ladies, I feel like if you are into astrology, um, well, more importantly, if you are a card reader um, and you're here watching this, get this deck. I mean, I don't get a dime. Buy this deck. This is such a cute deck for you to like. I think it goes in line with starting, but I don't I don't know if it's a starter deck, but it definitely is a good deck. Like, it, you know, I would say get used to the imagery first. If you're into tarot and you want to just have a deck to pull. This one is really cute, though. Put this in your collection. We do have temperance. They realize, Pisces, that in order for them to get into these new beginnings, we got one more. I told you, you got three aces. I ain't even done. Um, there's been a um, there's been some some tem tempering. There has been some things that is the card of Sagittarius. We're gonna have a Sagittarius eclipse at the end of the month. You know, your person is going through working very, very hard. They stumble. They definitely stumble, Pisces. Um they they have a behavior, they have a something here that needs to be tempered. They have the ability to want to take it one day at a time. They really do feel like they need to just work at it every single day. But they're taking the leap of faith. They want a brand new beginning in love. They want a brand new beginning in abundance. They want a new commitment. They want to fall in love with you. And they're doing it very passionately with the Ace of Wands. But let's go back here. You got all major arcanas down there. One, two. You got three major arcanas and three aces. I don't even understand. Three majors and three aces. What are we talking about? It's go time. Eclipse. Reevaluate. Where have we been? It's time for new beginnings. Let's get it popping. Feels very much so um, like very, very much so like the cancer reading, like that person was like dead serious about cancer. Um, listen, with Jupiter entering into your particular reading or your, I'm sorry, with Jupiter entering into your sign, Pisces, it's trying in all of the water signs. Let's go. Um, we got Scorpio coming up next. They fell a little below of the normal. Um, but listen, I, I suspect that is going to be like go time for all three of you guys. So this person is in love with you, Pisces. They want this. They are emphasis, heavy emphasis on marriage. I'm trying to tell you when I get to these collective, when I'm sorry, when I get to this first level of clarification, it's just unreal. Um, they're trying to use all with the magician, all of the tools in their arsenal to manifest what they want. They have been dead serious on making this come to life. Put, I'm talking about they are putting in work, putting in the work because and they want to move forward. They have the will. Look at that fire. They know that they can be successful with you. The brand new passionate beginning and moving forward with the chariot. My goodness. Crossing with earth. Crossing with earth. We have Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, more Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, the major arcana of Sagittarius. What? Come on. Let me go into Marvelous True for a second. Let me see something because my deck gives a little bit more and I don't feel like looking at my notes right now. I want to look at this magician, the energy of the magician. That ruler has crossed my mind, crossed my mind. The ruler. Here we go. No, that's Will. Okay. Um, the ruler um, is has slipped my mind. And I want to let you know. Listen. 
this person is dead serious. Like they want this. They know that they can be happy. They want you. They love you. Like what more do they have to do? What do you want them to do, Pisces? Where the hell is my magician card in my deck? Hello. Come on now. Where is the magician and marvelous truth? Okay, so we do have Jupiter. Can't even make it up. You got the damn temperance and Jupiter is in your sign. How crazy is that? That's exactly actually what I was looking for. Connecting with your God's harmony, looking for the divine intervention, moderation. 14, one and four is five. These are not numbered. My, my cards are because I'm all about numerology too. You guys know. Listen, who rules that? Who rules Sagittarius? Jupiter. Stop playing with me, guys. Stop playing. Damn last card. Mercury. Exactly. I couldn't, I could not think about that. The card of one. Air energy. Dead serious. Do you hear me? Determined. Resourceful. Skill. One option I found is target about 3.1 miles to the north on North 5th Street. Who is talking to them? What? Siri do not be playing. I'm trying to tell you. But anyway, Mercury. And if I'm not mistaken, where is Mercury right now? Mercury. If I'm not mistaken, Mercury is an water sign. Let me check. I'm sorry, guys. I just want to really emphasize what this what 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 this means for you you know what i'm saying where is mercury now you know oh my god i just want you to understand i'm almost there guys so we can get into this um i'm trying to get in here yes it's in taurus right now <laughs> stop playing okay so it's in an energy, you know, it's in an energy where it wants to go and it wants to be solid. It's in Taurus energy right now where it wants to solidify. It wants to come together. It wants to make the choice. There's a hell of a lot. And in the heart place, we do have that beautiful energy. Let's get into it. Eight of coins being clarified by the gate is open. Take a leap of faith. Take a leap of faith and walk through the gate. What? New beginning, sun and Aries, the card of one. Stop playing. Leap of faith, leap of faith. You see it, and that is what they've been working hard to do. Maybe to get you to understand what's going on. Maybe to get you to see what they want to do. What? <laughs> Listen, Pisces, I'm telling you, your love has been divinely protected. The Ace of Cups has been protected. You guys have been through some things. And this love has been protected by divine because you guys are meant to be together. Okay. The Ace of Coins is, yes, this person wants to marry you. The temperance is about fixing it. Sit down and communicate. They want to talk to you. They want to get this back on the road. They're sorry, but I don't feel like they're in that stage where they have to apologize, okay? I'm feeling like, you know, the magician is happy, ever, happily, happy ever after. They want the happy ever after with you, okay? The top of the decks I told you was chariot and the ace of wands. Look at what they're doing. They're planning ahead, boom. Divine timing aligned. This love is divinely protected. The beautiful ace of cups here. They are planning ahead and they're choosing love with the chariot. They're choosing you. Oh my goodness, Pisces. Jesus Christ. Let's get into what tore this apart because I know some of that is going to come out. Let's go ahead and get into that, okay? Gate is open. Divine protection. Whenever you have divine protection, that... A, clarifies that this is your divine person, okay? Your love is being protected. There's been some things. It's not showing here, but it will show here. Okay, here we go. Yep. Ooh, yes. First card out. Yes, there are five of pentacles. So, 
One of the things that has been um, happening here um, in this level of clarification lets me know that there is a self-sabotage and pattern. There has been pushing away uh, or a pushing away between you two of opportunities of communication and gifts. Um, there has been things that you, I mean, one or both of you guys have felt isolated, abandoned, rejected. Um, and it's time to, and, and what has happened as a result is at one point the gate was closed. There is a gate closed um, um, card. One, at one point this gate was closed and this person has been working very hard to be honest with themselves in this situation because there has been a feeling of being left out in the cold and you guys could have definitely done that with one another. One of the reasons why this particular love, look at this, this love between you guys is being divinely protected is because it's meant to be. Six of Wands. You've reached or achieved a victory over a recent battle. The battle was each other, okay? And the battle probably was for your hearts, whether you're in external world or with yourself. You might be receiving public recognition for success and progress you've made. Allow yourself this self-appreciation and public acknowledgement. Or I told you, I do feel that some of you guys are going through some type of major money thing. So that may be for some of you, although the ace is in the heart. We're talking about the ace of cups. You and your romantic connection may be ready to step into the spotlight as you publicly recognize each other and your relationship. It's time. Continue to support each other and the connection and you'll find success. Um, there has been some downs. There has definitely been possibly some type. I mean, though, that is um, pinnacles. There has been some money issues. Maybe that was the reason why the connection was a little off. Again, I'm feeling strong money here. Maybe when you get you guys went downhill, there was still a, a very much so a uh oh, look at this ace of pentacles. I can't even make it up. Oh my god, the ace of pentacles clarifies the ace of pentacles. Oh, oh my goodness, Pisces. Listen, please embrace these opportunities that are coming your way. Some of you guys, if it's lottery, whatever it is, I have to emphasize. I don't even know how to title this that you'll be like Marv ain't playing. What is Marv talking about? Listen, the universe is bringing forth an energy and a brand new opportunity. No. New beginning. A brand new opportunity. Oh, my God. That promises tangible abundance and physical security. Be willing to step through the doorway. The gate is open. Oh, my God. Be willing to step to the th through the doorway and take action that will help manifest your prosperous new beginning. And that's being clarified by yes. I can't make it up. Your love life or current relationship is getting the boost of energy with a fresh start and a higher level of commitment that is stable, grounded, and secure. Oh, my God. Be open to the blessings that is coming your way. Guys, I love it. Clarify, fix it. Sit down and communicate, clarify it. Yes, the four, the four of wands. You guys are going to take it slow and that's being clarified by the four of wands. I cannot even. You are coming into harmony and a higher, a higher level of commitment in a significant relationship or soul connection. I cannot Embrace the joy felt between you two and your sacred partner as you are united or reunited in ever expanding love. Oh my God. Clarify happily, happy ever after. Oh, queen of wands, baby. Confident, strong willed, and passionate. You know how to take charge of your life and your goals and see them through completion. That's this person. This person, Pisces, is serious about loving on on them some pisces the energy of this queen of wands maintain a positive outlook you will overcome any adversity or challenges don't dim your fear your fire or fear or self-doubt keep burning this person has had has such a burning for you in their heart and soul they are not letting you go my goodness what Ooh, let's bring it back in. Pisces, they love you, obviously. Um, I feel that there have been some ups and downs here. But with these three aces and three major arcana and this six of wands, you fought the battle. 
I believe that this love has been divinely protected because you guys are meant to be together. I don't know how the hell to name this, but I'm telling you that this person, the gate is open in your divinely protected union. The answer is yes. You guys will be reaching a milestone of sitting down, communicating and fixing this to go into a higher level of commitment. And your person is confident. The six of wands and the queen of wands. The answer is yes. They love you. Oh, my God. Like, share, subscribe to the Marvelous Tribe. I don't think I'm going to need to take a little break after this one. Pisces, this is beautiful. I certainly, certainly hope that this resonates with you guys. This is so beautiful. I love it. Wow. So, you know, listen, I'm going to try to title it as best I can. But there's an eclipse coming. And it, um, this is this is you're going to be with this person for the rest of your life. Let me know. Like, share, subscribe to The Marvelous Tribe. I will see you guys in week three. Please look out for the voting to become available in sat on Saturday, which is tomorrow. Um, please be advised that Mercury goes into pre-shadow tomorrow, but will not be retrograded until the end of this month. So sit down and fix it. Like it says, say what you have to say and mean what you say because, you know, things are going to start to get a little muddy. Congratulations. Like, share, subscribe to The Marvelous Tribe. I will see you next week when we do it again. Bye, Pisces.